Wahigriji ka kasa, Wahigriji ki fata. Welcome back to another episode of Voice of Youth. In the last episode, we talked to Jaskiran Singh, who is currently residing in Singapore, about his life changes from living in Australia to going to Singapore, serving in the army for this year so far. COVID changes. You know what life is like in Singapore right now. And we ended that by talking about mentioning at least. His modeling career, because as I stated in one of the previous episodes of Voice of Youth, we want to use this platform to kind of bring an awareness about the youth out there that I that are working in businesses, working in creative fields, working in some sort of area in which we can promote them. So, without further ado, let's welcome back Jaskiran Singh. Bye, Bye, Gijika. Gijika. Bye, Gijika. You're looking really stylish there. You got a turtleneck on, I see, yeah. It is very hot in here, but this is what you gotta do. <laughs> yeah, gotta look, gotta look stylish for this episode because we are talking about your modeling career and everything, and yes, you know, it, it's a huge part of like what you love to do. It's one of those things you really want to do. You really love to do. You really like back in Australia when you were here. We went out for the photo shoots, the video shoots. Um, why don't you tell us, like straight off the bat, let's get into it. Why you got do into it. modeling? why yeah why what got you Hon interested honestly it was the fact that that you like how style like defines someone like what you wear like um yeah pretty much tells you like it just shows you like how a person is yeah it shows you how a person is really like I mean, obviously, you don't like clothes define who a person is, but it really expresses who you are. Like, I would say that, especially, like, more so, it's more how to express your yourself. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because like, the thing is, like, the first, like, as much as people say, like, the looks of someone doesn't matter, the, the looks of someone does matter in the sense that this is how they want to present themselves to someone else. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, wear, I love the color orange. I love bright colors. I've got a yellow wall behind me. I've got an orange tab, and I always wear an orange tab, and, like, as often I like, as I can. I like my dark colors. I love my dark colors. I love yeah. my dark colors, man. I've got black on. I've got a brown color um, curtain at the back. Um, everything is pretty much dark in this house, <laughs> besides the lights. But, uh, yeah, man, um, dark feeling, colors are nice. Sorry? That's not to reflect how you're feeling, is it? No, no, no. Being no, on this no, episode no. of and Youth, no. <laughs> no, black is just the most simplest color to style up. Really yeah, nice. it was. Well, it's, it's easy, like, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just wanted to like the idea that um the fashion kind of like defines who you are and everything. So then I believe you really get into street modeling, correct? Yeah. Yes, sir. So why street modeling? Is that the just the environment you like about it, or is there something specific that catches your eye there? I don't know. I just really like how how the photos turn out. I don't know. It's just it's just it gives you that wow factor. Like yo, this guy's doing it. Like on on the block, is on the streets. Like yo, like it's confidence. I would say it. Like when I see my photos, like like when you take the photos, I'm like looking. I'm like yo. That's some confidence right there. And, yeah. and I feel like if you love public speaking and all that, like going out in the streets is like a really good way of like building your confidence. And yeah, I would say like, good. like I remember like the first few times I went with you and like your Benji as well, I used to be really shy. I'm like, oh no, no, no. I don't, maybe let's do somewhere a bit more quieter. Let's do somewhere where it's not really a lot, not, not a lot of people over there. Let's do it somewhere more low key and all that. And slowly, slowly, when we started doing, it, I'm like, "Yo, let's do it there and there." I don't, we don't care. We just, we're here to, you know, make turban shines. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, that's the one, man. No, yeah, because is it something about modeling just in the street where everyday people are? It feels real. It feels real, like raw. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, and there's like street modeling. There's all kinds of modeling, and yeah, we have my sister as well. Took a few photos. I mostly I like to do the video stuff and everything um whatnot yeah. uh, we do have a couple of photos just to show off as well so i'll get them up right now and maybe you can tell us a bit about you know the photos yeah, sure. when you took them why you yeah. did it this way and stuff um whoop, I, wrong way yeah, yeah. there we go let's eventually do we got let's there. do it let's do it okay sorry if i look a bit awkward just trying to look at the photo yes oh this one okay 
So this one was doing our circuit breaker, and I was running out of content actually. Um, yeah. This is the this is like about like when we started quarantine and like our circuit breaker, a so lockdown pretty much. And mm-hmm. I'm running out of photos, so I'm like, you know what? Let's just quickly go outside, take a few photos, and go back in. Actually, this was like one of the hottest days I've ever faced in Singapore, and I was wearing <laughs> a jacket. And I literally took out the jacket and I was literally like sweat and I was like watery, like the jumper was like wet. Oh but wow, okay. Again, got to do what you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> yeah, holy crap. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I... yeah, the photographer was Nihal, so my brother. <laughs> yeah, he's great, great photographer. Um, you know, with the iPhone eleven, just quickly you know, stand there, quick kabang, and I just did stand in my room for like a good twenty minutes editing the photo. And yeah, that's what how I liked it, and uh, yeah, yeah. I, I do like this photo. I like this photo. It's really nice. It, it's really nice. That's why I put it there, right? The first one up because it's a real nice photo. Got it from your Facebook yeah. page as well. Um, so yeah. I put your Instagram down below there for anyone who wants to go check it out. Actually, actually, just get in. Um, your Facebook page, yes, just get in. Sing, yeah, yeah, just get in. Underscore underscore sing. Underscore that's underscore. It, but I think, but I think I might be changing it to actually just get in just for like. Or like easy for everybody else to like yeah you know yeah make it all the same same username and all that that way people can find me wherever they want to find me all right let's let's yeah, check out the yeah. other two photos we've got here yep let's pop of color in this one <laughs> yeah <laughs> actually yeah the one on the right with me um in the shirt with the united states and america's flag that one yeah this one, that one, that one, yeah. that editing was done by a Hashi, Hashi the Great, um, Hashi Singh. Yeah, so I actually the editing. I was trying to edit it, and it was just it wasn't working out. It wasn't what I wanted. Like I was trying to make my skin more like pop and all that, and like trying to make it more um vintage and all that. So I sent him the, the raw photo, and um, he within like ten minutes he just sends me this, and I'm like, my guy, you killed it. You, you, magic. Did, you yeah. did something that would have took took me easily three hours to do. And he came back in within like 10 minutes. I'm like, wow. So yeah, this this also took not yeah. long. It's like maybe like a three minute shoot. Again, my brother on the on the camera. Yeah. Yeah. That's outside the apartment, yeah? Yeah, yep. So and the one on the right. On the right. Yeah. The <laughs> so elevator. the one on the right. The, the one had this one's actually got a pretty funny story to it um so i came out um i went out with one of my mates from the army actually one of my buddies and my roommates mm-hmm. so we went out for um, for food and we came and i came back just around like 11 o'clock so i'm like yeah no one's you know, no one's gonna walk out 11 o'clock at night just chuck a quick <laughs> photo and uh, i didn't realize that uh so i went up to my house level i'm like no nah, i'm not getting the right shots go back down to the first floor when i did this twice and on the way back up Someone was actually, as I took this photo, someone walked in straight away. I'm just like, oh, oh sorry. <laughs> and she was just like laughing. I was just laughing. So I'm like, whoops. You're just sitting down there just like taking a snap. Yeah, it, was, it was pretty awkward as well because she was a bit of an old lady. She was like, is this kid all right? <laughs> but yeah, man, that one, what was, that one was, I'm actually quite happy with this photo. I'm actually quite proud of it, actually. Really proud yeah. of the photo, how it came out as well. The bit of it, fine it, editing it, there with the purple shade as well. I don't know if you can see the purple shade and like the purple shade and all that on the pants. I don't yeah. know if you can see it. Yeah, so that yeah. took a while as well. But um, yeah, look, <laughs> I'm happy that uh, how it came out and uh, yeah, it looks so good. That, yeah, I see. Like in the first one, you got that. You got three different styles here. Like, do you have a favorite photo out of any of these three? Honestly, it really depends what I'm going for. It it really depends what I'm doing as well. If I'm going like out with a bunch of mates, then it'll probably be the one on the right, the turtleneck, the Vans, the Gucci bag. Yeah. Um, if I'm going out with my brother for like more like just a crash casual lunch, it'll be the one on the on the left. But then if I'm going out, let's say like going out for a movie or I'm maybe going out for like a fancy dinner, then obviously the top photo. Simple, mm, yeah. classy, you know. If you got too much going, going on, then it's just not gonna work. 
you know. Yeah, and yeah. speaking about like having like having too much going on, but the idea that you have like in the one in the just on the porch here, I, whatever I don't know what you'd call it um, actually, but you yeah, got right, you really right. there and everything. Um, Sorry, and then you're, you're really there in it, but then in like the one in the elevator, you've got the Gucci bag and everything, and then in the top one yep. as well, you got the accessory of like the sunglasses and everything. So what's your, in your opinion, what's like your most, uh, your favorite piece of uh, an accessory or clothing that you think okay. is like the most? Can I, can, I, can I tell you the truth? Can I tell you the truth? <laughs> that's actually, that's actually my, like my karpan. I actually took out my karpan to take a photo with it. <laughs> yeah. What? yeah, zoom in. It's, it's, it's like, it's like a Dori karpan. I got it on like some Nihang website. If you zoom in there, it's actually a karpan. Oh. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, so I'm like, let's try to wrap in the Siki while fashion. Cause look, end of the day, you're here to like to show like your 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 culture, your own Siki, own your own surup that you own, and you should wear it with pride. Honestly, yeah. um, but I know in a lot of countries you can't wear a karpan outside. So you know, and plus this was everybody was indoors. I'm like, yeah, you know what? Let's quickly do one with the karpan outside. You know, wrap wrap good good aside and all that. So. Got a banging photo straight away. Put the karpan back in and go back in the house. Change. <laughs> that so, um, yeah, real quick snapshot, snap to get that. Yeah, done. man. Um, the glasses, bro. The, these are actually one of my favorite glasses. Actually, um, I bought these from Cotton On as well. So for those people who like, who always ask me on Instagram, like, oh, what, uh, where do you get your glasses from? Usually it's ASOS, eBay. E trust me, eBay's got some good stuff. <laughs> eBay, ASOS, and Cotton On. Cotton On is like unisex so both males and females you can wear whatever suits you really yeah. so yeah um but uh back to accessories my favorite one would be the gucci yeah. bag obviously <laughs> but um yeah. but yeah my i feel like my prized possessions are my glasses my glasses um, you know actually yeah i always have like one next to me wherever like around the photo you know, for a quick selfie or whatever you get an up close on that let's see that again the glasses Oh yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah. Just snap these ones back on straight. Pull down. There you go. Photo click. Hey, look at that style. <laughs> nah, it's, you you learn you learn over time. You know, I remember like the first photo shoot. I was really awkward. I was like shoulder in, like all scared. And you were like, "Come <laughs> on, express yourself." And when I started doing what you were telling me, you eased me up, which is also a really good thing. My advice for everybody who wants to get into modeling or photography or whatever is. Always find the right photographer that makes you comfortable. You know, you don't want to work with someone who you feel yeah. pressured. You feel like, oh, I don't know, how am I, how am I going to feel if this guy takes my photo? You know, for me, I knew like, you know, family. Our family goes way back from Singapore. Parents grew up together. Yeah, and then so like, you know, plus both Singaporeans, so we we have that lie in us. You know? <laughs> so like, it was I was really like comforted. I was like, yeah, you know what, these guys are going to do me good. So, uh, yeah, you guys. You just told me what to do the first few times we went photo shoots after a while. I started I started doing my own research, found out what I wanted, showed you guys like yo, you know, this is trying to photo, I'm trying to recreate. So um yeah, is there a way we could we could we could redo this and somehow we figured it out, even though our look like our location weren't the great like weren't the best and all that. But we still pulled it off, got some amazing yeah. shots and um yeah. I don't think you were that like quiet as an order i always i like one thing about you is that you know like maybe i'm remembering more so the recent stuff and that's what i just got in my head but i know you yeah, know what yeah. you, i remember you sending images of stuff that you do when i try to recreate like, exactly something. yeah that's because i was comfortable with you you get what i mean like mm -hmm. if if you're comfortable with the person you're obviously going to open up so like with you i was really comfortable with the other guys as well really comfortable even when we did intro to street i remember right. i'm like yo you do you like you know even the, like my idea was that the idea was there, like, you know, we're going to make this thing like we're like sick. He's a big thing in the Australian fashion industry and all that, which is going to happen one day. I hope so. But hopefully, yeah, we, we, let's not hope so. Let's make it happen. You know, instead of hey, hoping, let's, make it, for, yeah? let's, let's make it happen, man. Let's make this happen. No, no hoping, you know, we're going to make it happen. But we're interested. I gave you the idea. We worked it. We even, like, we went out for like a day to pre-shoot, get mm, some of yeah. the good shots. Then we got like the perfect video. I mean, obviously, yeah, you, you obviously like looking at, back at it now, there's a lot of things we could have changed, but um, 
But, it's, uh, it's I think thing. like you look you look at these things and you do those things in the decision back then. Like you get you you thought of it, you wanted it done. You know, I I remember like with this as well. I we're talking about interest rate. I always gotta give um, a shout out to my sister because she, she did of a short planned everything out as well there you go. And shout out to this benji bro she's the one who killed it with the photos with the video and with yeah. the ideas so shout out to, she, she she really made it happen man she really made it possible she really and the, the whole team as well like everyone else that was a part of it was really good i remember like we tried getting it out there as much as possible and you know you always do look back and you're like oh i could do this better or we could try this as well but then we that's could have worn something thing. better with more accessories like personally i felt like my outfit was a bit too plain but and they're not really much accessories and um you know no like no like bag no rings no like no necklaces bling, nothing bling. <laughs> no no yeah exactly no bling bling but like look like eventually like now looking back i'm like yo this is this could have changed maybe next time not next time not maybe but when we do the next one you know we can improve in this 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 and make it a banger and then once that's done we can see where we went wrong or where we can, can improve, improve in the future yeah and bang up the next one so i mean like a lot of, there's a lot of people out there who are doing these type of videos and like it's good to see that everybody's like trying to put seek like the things out there the, even the cause out there as well there's there's this video done by cabrini on instagram where he got all these like yeah. benjis all that and they all came out and with like newspapers and all that it was really sick so um we are cool. um yeah we think we have to recreate that one as well yeah we'll get to that we're gonna have to we have to pre recreate that one as well <laughs> improvements and improve, i always think of like upgrades people upgrades that's what you think yes, when so. you look back at these things just try to improve and yes do one with the cores as well and you know it's it's really cool when you see all these kind of things like all these other inspirations from other people do you have any that you'd like to recommend to people that maybe want to get into modeling or some sort of area of this that you'd say Go check this person out. They did a real good job. They were in an inspiration to me. Yeah. Um, so the one that really got me into the fashion was Street Thing Style. Thing Street Style. So he's now he's turned into a bit of like a couple's uh blog, but he does put out a lot of photos still. Like he is yeah. I would say like my top recommendation. For me personally, I also used to look at non seeks as well. To get the idea of an outfit so i used to look at this guy called teaching men's fashion jose okay. zaniga you can check him on youtube and all that he's like on like three mil like subscribers a lot of subscribers so yeah he's got i looked up to him a lot i looked up to um you know soccer players like ronaldo with those like like clean like clean suits and all that yeah and then i looked up uh like lebron james with the sneakers and all that um obviously my sneaker game isn't that good as not it's not the best but you know upgrade 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 every time upgrade so, upgrade. Yes, <laughs> the, so um the best the yeah. like for me because obviously wearing a damala you know i would always go for fate fate doe uh, even mm -hmm. jug meat thing as well jug meat has got some fire outfits as well um yeah. but yes yeah, think street style is the one i would for any beginners definitely check him out check me out as well uh, at just here. <laughs> actually just here yeah, <laughs> so so plug you're myself here <laughs> yeah um but yeah i mean even go yeah. to your personal um instagram you know you got a lot of the melbourne boys on on it just ah, yeah. you just find just find wh whatever you find even if you pick a few few from here put it out if it works for you it works for you you know yeah, um, yeah. as well you know there's so many things out there and yeah on that, is there anything like any final remarks you'd like to say before we finish this episode up? Yeah, um, the thing is, when someone like I, I don't know, like for me personally, I used to like back before I started the fashion, people used to look at me like, oh, you like there's a turban, you look different, right? So let someone look at you, be like, oh wow, instead of going pointing out the turban and making fun of you, be like, oh wow, this guy's pulling a crazy outfit today. Gee, if someone's gonna look at you, give them something good to look at, right? Yeah. yeah rock to the start with pride just walk out chest out just be like yo i'm owning this today this is my the star this is my sicky this is me this is who i am and walk proudly don't i always tell people like yo don't don't shy away just if if like a really good opportunity comes take it go it doesn't matter if it's just standing in front of school doing a talk 
or you know taking a photo for like a public school event or whatever or like even going on the news do whatever like makes you happy end of the day like for me it was fashion for someone else it can be photography someone else can be djing someone else can be like you know modifying cars everybody has their own like personal like hobbies and all that and obviously follow your dreams and you know yeah just follow your dreams man. honestly that's the follow your dreams. biggest thing i can do man follow your dreams yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Jessica, and for those ending thank remarks. You. you know, follow your dreams. Yeah. If you have, if you want to get into any of these things, if you want to get into modeling in particular, as we've talked about in this episode, make sure you do je- check out. Sorry, just kidding. At actually, just kidding. Um, you can see yes, some uh, more of his photos than what we've shown here today in this episode. Um, you know, thank you for joining us today. Um, thank hopefully, you, we thank you for having me. Episode. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'll Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do this like what I did the last episode. Uh, guys, go like share this and help each other out you know give this video as many views as you guys can share it inspire other people and uh yeah let's just bring siki up where it's meant to be man um yeah have a blessed day man see you soon oh okay well on that that (laughs) note to all the audiences out there please do what just kidding said and to just kidding himself thank you for joining me today Thank you, thank you. Bye, Gucci Kakao. Bye, Gucci Kakao. Bye, Gucci Kakao.